Science, though clearly built upon wild speculations and imaginings, is differentiated from religion because it measures its successes by actually testing its very models with each other and placing them in real-life context to determine which one holds up best under rigorous conditions. Science, in other words, attempts to falsify what consciousness conjures up so as to see which model best explains reality. And in so doing, it allows for a cataloging of both its successes and failures. In this way, science can indeed progress because it has built-in tendency to eliminate less successful theoretic conjectures. Religion, on the other hand, tends to accept certain simulations above all others without resorting to any empirical verification and habitually substantiate such imaginary permutations as being beyond physical testing. In this way, the virtual simulation protects its integrity and truth value by pointing to a transcendent arbiter and thereby foregoing any real-world competition as to be eliminated by such testing. Is it merely a coincidence that there are tens of thousands of religions in the world each claiming exclusive truths, but nothing comparable in the world of science? There isn't a Japanese physics or a Tibetan physics or an American physics. There is just physics. What country you come from is secondary. Gravity is universal and doesn't have different acolytes claiming different revelations in different tongues. But which geographical region you come from in religion isn't secondary, but primary. Since as every geographer knows, the gods change when you go to different landscapes.